Ebro in the morning on Hot 97. Aziz Ansari has been accused of, uh, according to TMZ, they're calling it sexual assault, although I wouldn't call this sexual assault, uh, by a woman who claims he repeatedly got um, sexually aggressive with her during a date. She's anonymous, and she went on um, on this website called Babe.net and claims that she went on a date with him last year, and they went out to dinner. He rushed the dinner and went to their, to his Tribeca apartment, where she claims he almost immediately began kissing, fondling her, touching her, and, which led to some um, form of sexual activity, uh, but not actual sex. So um, afterwards, there were some text messages from they were from both of them that were released. And he, Aziz is basically saying, hey, it was fun meeting you last night. Just dropped my roll of film today. Fingers crossed. I got some good shots. And then she, re- she replies saying, hey, Aziz, it was nice meeting you too. Blah, blah, blah. Then she says, last night might have been fun for you, but it wasn't for me. Mm. We got back to your place and you ignored clear nonverbal cues. You kept going with advances and you had to have noticed that I was uncomfortable. Can you stop right there? Why, if somebody wanted to give a cue, would it be nonverbal in a private setting? Like, I could get it in, like, maybe you're in a public atmosphere and people are looking and, like, you're like, you know, you're not trying to make a big stink out of something. But when it's you and someone else and it's private. I think, I was talking to my wife about this yesterday, and Laura, you can feel free to weigh in. Right. And, again, we can delve in a little bit deeper. I'm not trying to bury Aziz here, but women aren't necessarily taught and prepared how to, if you're in a setting Mm. and you're starting to feel like this just isn't what I want, how to get out of it without making a scene. So like, so instead of making it a big deal, like they, she didn't know how to be like, you know, I'm, this is not where I'm at right now. Like they don't want to be like, hey, I'm leaving. I'm uncomfortable. Well, like, I'm gonna, like, whoa, I'm, that's well, a 10. I'm going to stop you right there because I was. You were what? Like I was taught that. Like my mother and father were like, eh, if you are ever uncomfortable, you can say Wait. like, hey, I don't want to do Lord, this right now. But Laura, you could agree that not everyone Sh- yes. is taught that. Yes, and also you're very, you, in your... Yeah, that's it's a you have amazing qualities to communicate. You do it professionally, like right, you right, right. But when well. I was younger, I wasn't a professional. I was just really honest, like hey, like even even just being actually honest, like yo, I'm not trying to go there, but we can I mean, do this. I've mostly tried to come on to black and Spanish women my entire life, and I can tell you in my experience, none of them had a problem saying, "Yo, boy, stop, get out of here. I'm not interested." But that's the culture, right? That's a cultural well, thing. Well, and also, and, and I'm not trying to be a douche to you, but like, so you think, but there are also right. probably women who went along with it who maybe, maybe. didn't feel that way. Yeah, maybe. I, I know some maybe. women, too, right, who right, say right. they freeze in a moment. Yeah. They, they were shocked and didn't know what to say and just kind of went along with it and was completely disgusted afterwards. Sure. Yeah. I know at least two. No, and I, now, and I, I know that that's happened numerous and, times. And mm-hmm. I'm sure and I'm sure it's happened to all the men in this room that, are, you know, you, you think it's all good and the next day she regrets it she's like i don't mm-hmm. know why i did that it's not what well, i wanted I'm, I'm sure i've been a regret for most women who've ever said anything <laughs> <laughs> but i but is that now from reading the aziz story it sounds like a bad date that's what it sounds like i to just me. read excerpts after you guys told me to read it and then one thing that that i want to point out is that this woman felt like coming out after she saw him on the red carpet wearing the me too pen mm. so she felt she needed to tell her story but to me this sounds like a bad date like yeah, he was getting ass. He was aggressive. He was all of that too. But but he, what? I'm gonna get. She didn't up. say it was forceful though. She didn't say I never, that. I never saw anything that said forceful. Well, no, she this, didn't even say that. This no, because people people are calling him. He sexually assaulted her. I was like, that's not sexual assault. That's not to me. It's not. Am I? Do you guys so, agree with me? Yeah, I 100 percent don't think it's sexual assault. Um, how so? How would you describe it though? Bes- bad date. A guy who's just kind of. Can you relate to the sentiment, though, of you do something with a man and then afterwards you feel gross yes, about it? Yes, yes, yes. That hap- that's happened numerous times. But I wouldn't go back and say I was sexually assaulted by somebody. So what would you what would you think less of the man afterwards? Yes, that's that's all straight. We've all been in situations where we hooked up with somebody and then, it, you know, afterwards I was like, Ugh, I, I regret that. That was gross. And you felt gross as a person. And you're like, that's and not. And the way he handled it was gross. And to detached be, and a douchebag yes. and an a hole and all of these. But things. when he when she texted him that he was also very apologetic about it because he was like, I felt that it was consensual. I thought we were both into it. Do you understand what I'm saying? I just think. Like oh, this. so he wasn't even mean afterwards. No, no. He, no. he supposedly said he took it very seriously when she said it to him because you would think 
assuming he's not just a maniac, if a girl writes you after you hooked up with her and you're feeling good about it, like, yeah, we hooked up last night, and you get a text that was like, that wasn't fun for me, that right. made me feel terrible, you'd have to be a really bad person to not care about that, to not be like, whoa, really? Um, but I, I think what it, I, I think that there's two things here. One, this is da this is. I understand why people are upset and think this is dangerous for the Me Too Time's Up movement. And there's people on both sides, right? Like some people are using this as an example to discredit that movement. And then there's people on the Me Too side that are like, please don't use this in our movement. Yes. Because this, this is not a, the, This ain't us. This is not people like Harvey Weinstein and Russell Simmons who are accused of using their power to dominate over women. Absolutely. Or it's in the workplace or any of that. Um. However, I do think it's a good opportunity for a conversation to say Aziz Ansari should not lose his livelihood because he was a dirtbag on a date. He shouldn't. I don't believe. I don't believe so either. But I do think it's a good opportunity for all of us as men to look at ourselves and think, like, when did I do something similar? Like, I, 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 I'm, I don't recall ever doing th that exact thing, mm -hmm. but I do recall having sexual experiences with women in which I could tell they wanted more. They were hoping mm -hmm. this was like a date mm -hmm. and I was just trying to get my Jump rocks off. off. And at the end, the the friendship or relationship, if you call it that, that we had, I think probably ended th with them being like, he's a dirtbag and I have unpleasant thoughts of him. Yeah. And I think it's a good opportunity for all of us as men to think about how do we not, why don't we try to not play that role? It's always been assumed we will. Oh, men will be men. They want to play. Yeah, they yeah, want to yeah. get some. And we do. But, Ebro, to your point, you said maybe this all could have been avoided if he had been very straightforward and been like, hey, I'm not here for dating. I'm here to get this thing popping. I just want to hang out and get it popping. You want to have some drinks and get it popping? Because I've said that a bunch I and been think, told yes and no. Right. And I also think it's a good moment for us as women to take responsibility. If you're not comfortable in a situation, you could say, no, I'm not here for that. Like, I mean, yes, I came back to your apartment to have a drink, but we're just going to end it right there. This is all I'm here for. I, there, I've been in that situation plenty of times. Well, and I would also say for fellas, man, inviting somebody back to your crib and you haven't even, like, attempted to hug or kiss, I believe is, I've always thought that was premature. I've always thought it was premature on some, like, I'm going to try all of this once you're in my home. Because yeah, that's, that's a weird, and again, that is a power dynamic. Now you're like, you have a woman, she's in your house, that's and you're not, trying for the first time. I, I hear that's you. That's not weird. the way it goes. Now, you have or should go. You have advantage here with digital technology. Se my sex game exactly. is sexting. So like, you, you get to the sexting quick. If you've already been, if, if before you've ever gone on a date, you full-on sexted, and you're like, yo, we need to get together and do this. And the person's like, yes, right. I want to come I, do I've this. I've been as blatant as saying, yo, tell me I got the green light. Like, tell me straight up. I got, the, like, say it. Once you sexed it and all that, it's like, yo, I got the green light now. We good? Say it. Now, but then there is another layer to all of this, I believe, which is, gets even more complicated. Hmm. Which is that men and women are are different. And, and there are women out there who are definitely down for a jump off. It happens. There are women out there who are of like. Of course. However, there are also women out there who will accept it. Because it's all they're able to get from that person, but really in what they- In hopes of getting more. Exactly. But really what they want is affection and like real sincere feelings from that person. So they're going for it and they're letting it happen. And then when the guy's like, all right, I'm gonna call you an Uber. Catch you next time. They're pissed. The, the heartbreak sets in of yeah. like, I just got completely used. They're not interested. So I do think that's a good time to have that conversation about maybe how we could try to be less of dirt bags as It's well. all communication, man. It really it's is all communication. comes down to communication. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> ultimately, it comes down to dudes being okay that this may not go forward once you're honest about your intentions. Yeah. Because I've, I've told other young men that many times. Be honest about your intentions straight up. It's better in the long run. She may not want to do nothing with you today, but at least she knows you was real. So if she comes back to you later on, like, at least I know what I'm getting when I'm with you. She knows what it is. There's no hidden agenda at all. And and to women, I always give women friend this advice too. It's real old school, but wait, if you want something for real, don't don't go back to his house and give it up early. Let him know, no, hooking up with me physically involves a relationship, and that's and you're going to put is. in that work. And that's you want to do yeah, it? That's what you do. That's doing. a communication part. And again, you you're right. Be, that is communication. I don't. A lot of people are just scared to be honest.